how to do the raindrop bracelet. This is my raindrop. Um, I think I'm just going to do, I'm going to kind of do these colors. I'm going to do these colors. Because I just like all three of these colors together. They're really cool. So, what you're going to do is you want it to have this part where it doesn't go a little bit away. From I am going to, you're going to start with, um, I'm really sorry, I have some stuff in my hair right now. I'm going to do, um, purple edging. Actually, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm gonna do, yeah, I'll do purple. I'm going to do purple edging. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to want to, um, you're going to start from the middle, bottom, middle to the left. Then, Bottom and bottom middle to the right. Fading A U you left. Then you're going to take the rest of your edge bands and you're going to want to go all the way down one side. And you're going to do the same with the other side. I'm going to try and So you're going to want to stop right there when you have these extra bits so you don't have anything on it. You're going to want to take one peg, you're going to go from the last one, to the other side, so you're going to kind of look how you did it. So it's really like this, so you can have this one. So now you're going to start the middle. Um, I'm going to do... to do for my rainbow, you take the yarn, I like to do two whites, two here, you can do, it's going to be very similar to this one, except for this edging is going to be all purple, and it's not going to have white mixed in. So the first two, if you're doing me, um, you're going to want to have double, by the way, so you're going to want two whites if you're following me, um, push down the um, double yarn and you're going to start from the you're going to want are pink, a light pink. Connect it from the right straight down. If you do not know what I just said, um, okay. you can put them on one by one if you want. You can put them on double to kind of save a little bit time. So like that. The next color, if you're following, I'm going to say the next color like you're following me. This is this is R following me. So the next two colors you, um, or the next color you need is red. Remember, I'm doubling all these. The next color I use is orange. Um, orange. And then I like to do yellow, and I have very yellow. Kind of make sure that they don't go over I think I'm out of dark 
Yeah, you don't. If you have dark green, the next one I would do is dark green. If you don't have dark green, the next color after um, dark green is um, I do blue. the purple I do black. And then um, I stop right there because black can't really turn into anything. So I do double white and I do I kind of repeat. If you don't have dark green or light green or anything, you probably have to do it in the color. So you just kind of follow the pattern and push down. You're going to want to push this end down, by the way. You're going to want to take a cap. So I'm going to use clear, and you're going to want to cap off this part. That's the last part. Okay, now. I'm going to try showing you this as much as I can. I don't know if I can really. So what you're going to want to flip it around. And there's a cap band here. So you're going to want to go under the cap, the cap band. You're going to find a first orange or whatever color is right there. You can take one, put it forward. Push it down a little bit. Go back in. Grab the other orange and put it forward also. Go in the cap. Oops. A little bit hard with the cap, so what you can do is you can pull this from this view so you can see better. Okay, so you're going to go under the cap. You don't actually have to go back down, you can just grab it from this side right here, pull it, put it wherever you came from, sit down right here, but um, so now you're going to go under the orange, you'll see red, or the next color, whatever color you use. I'm going to take the first one, it's actually twisted, so I'm just going to pull up the top one, so I can like this one. Grab it, and, I'm s and um, actually, you have to do one step, before you do this actually, you have to go under this one, these two, grab the very bottom one, pull it forward. Do the same to the other side. Now you can grab the top next color and you're going to want to pull it to the left. The top always has to go to the left. Now go back down, grab, grab the bottom red and pull it to the left. So it should look kind of should look like this. Now you're going to go um, to the left again, go under the red, grab the one under it.
it should look like this. Go under the pink on the side. Grab the next color. Pull it to the fourth. And the pink. Pull it to the So you're just going to keep repeating this. So you get. Sorry. So what you're gonna do? Um, you're going to um, you take it and you pull it to the side. Then you take the other one and you pull it to the side. So I just let you just clicked in my mind. <laughs> Take it off now. I like to use a crochet at the end of the back of the crochet hook to get everything off. 